I, I came up with this theory last summer, like, was we, um, we, I think I was doing the interviews for um, uh, First Ascent, you know, and uh, like while we were talking, I was just kind of thought this one out. I was like, you know, if like skiing was invented as a form of transportation and a way to get like Norway, Sweden, it's you know it's fairly flat up there, and to get across the valley through the woods, and you know it's got a long history of you know flat ground, you know, it's telemarking. And then downhill skiing was just kind of a byproduct of that, you know. Down, it wasn't, you know, you didn't really downhill ski probably after World War II, you know. Maybe they had some skiers before, but it wasn't recreation, you know. It wasn't invented as recreation. Where snowboarding 100% was invented for recreation. It was invented to have fun. And, and furthermore, like, if you were to give, like, you know, Neanderthal man choice how to get down a snowy mountain, do you want to do it on two separate skis looking forward, or do you want to stand sideways and lean back a little? You know, I, I don't think he'd be strapping the skis on. You know, just be like, Ugh! You know, you, he'd stand on a board and just go down the hill, you know? Like, so it's just it's a much more natural way of getting down a mountain. It's like big mountain skiing, and before that was a joke too. It was like like sixty turn, four hundred foot shoots. You know what I mean? Just you know, like just going hip to hip to hip. You know, like not just you know. I just we all watch the progression of skis going from size of this neck to just you know. It was like I, it just always kills me. Like why did it take snowboarding to do that? You know. Wouldn't you guys have figured that out in the last 50 fucking years, you know? Like, same as spinning, it's like, oh, you guys can spin now. Oh, that's cool. You know, it's just funny that you guys are doing it for 50 years and no one worked out that if you cork it, you can spin, you know? <laughs> like, like the, the non-progression of skiing has always been funny to me. Well, as far as boards, um, I, I think for starters, JG and Terry with the fish is like the best thing ever. It's like, I explain it like uh, just having a shorter tail. <laughs> it's like, it's like picture surfing going up to fucking, you know, do a front side snap on the wave, standing in the middle of your board, you know. It's like, doesn't, it's like, uh, you have all this drag behind you and all, uh. I, so I, like the boards, I mean, like the board I ride is looks like a fucking retard compared to most boards. I mean, I look at it and I'm, oh man. But I mean, it, it's a machine though. Like it's so sick. Like just having short tail, you just make quick choices and and I just don't think you need shit behind you. Like, uh, you know, humans used to have tails. And we evolved. <laughs> Oh yeah, that CIA coop. <laughs> they were like, in the 60s, they are like, what do we do with all this extra plastic? We'll make hula hoops. They're like, okay, and then, and that died. And they're like, what about lappers for skateboards? And side rails are like, yeah. And then that died. And they're like, what other useless item could we use this for? High backs. And then, <laughs> so it's CIA has been behind it the whole time. And uh, now, now it's like, I just went snow skating one day and, I'm, and uh, I was just doing a front side turn on something and I was like, wow, I wasn't squatty. You know, I was able to like draw it out and I'm like, and it just stuck in my head. Like, why, do we, why are we having high backs? It's like, when we all started, like when I started, it was like, I didn't even have high backs and you know, it was like, it was just, you know, shitty boards and you had a goddamn fucking rope tied to the front of it. You had like, Skags, wooden boards, and just you know, and yeah, you needed something. You know, we were riding in socks more or less, it wasn't even boots. And then we we have boots that like you know hold you up. Like you get new boots on, you can barely like you know move your ankle like this. You know what I mean? You, they're stiff as shit. And like I was like, what? What do we need the added? You know, like training wheel or you know, this is like. Like, I just look at people turning. I look at surfers when they're doing a bottom turn going up and they, they, can, they open up. 
snowboarding, you can open up on your toe side, but you can't open up like that on your heel side. You know, you're, you're just squatty. And like, it just made sense to me to just take them off, you know, and just, I, first time I did it, I was up at Baker. By no means was a powder day. And I, I just rode and like, I was going out of my way to do traverses on my heels and just to see if, and magically it didn't slip away. And like, it, it just made me kind of laugh that like we've been using these things for so long and they're just like, are like holding, holding you back, they're just hold backs. So, <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's funny cause I get flipped shit for it, whatever, but like, yeah, some of you, oh dude, forward lean. Well, maybe, you know, maybe you do need it because it's, it's there. But once it, it, I just, you know, I could be way off, but I, I so far I've, I've proven it right, you know? <laughs> Another thing is you tell yourself you can't do something and lo and behold, you can't do it. You know, like if you tell yourself over, you know, well, that's it's just not gonna work. And yeah, it's not gonna work. You gotta, you know, believe in some, you know, like something to have it work. Like acupuncture is not gonna work if you go tell yourself that fucking crazy Chinese fucking point needles in me, man. You know, but if you go in there and like, oh, it's a, you know, pretty highly advanced form of medicating yourself and some, you know, it's gonna work, you know, like, and so like, I, I just gone snow skating one day and I was like, it, for like a year, I just chewed on it. I'm like, why are we doing this? You know, like, it just seems so silly to me. I just took these garden shears and just clipped them off. I was gonna take them up to Baker too at the race and at the top of the course, like people that weren't racing right then, just clip them off. And just like, there's, they'd have to take a run with it. They'd be forced to take a run and realize like how silly it is and like how moot their argument is. Like, like and people would go back and forth with me about like, what would it do? Just try it once and those, all those questions would be answered. And you know, if you go, you know, go into it telling yourself, ain't gonna work, then, guarantee you it won't work, you know?